Hey guys, it's Katie. Thank you for checking out this video. I feel like I start every single video with this, but there's always a legit reason. Um, I haven't filmed in a long time, and that is because, um, if you don't know my backstory, I have been uh, in and out of cancer treatments for the past three and a half years, and during my last set of scans, I got some news that I needed to start five consecutive weeks of radiation treatment. So I had um, five days of treatments to my skull and then the next 15 days I had treatments to my chest trachea area and then that just ended at the beginning at the end of May and today's June 4th so I've been recovering from that but I am back and I wanted to do the infamous eyeshadow palette tag here on YouTube that was created by Samantha March and Allie Glines who are legit two people I have watched for years so it was really exciting to see a collab between two people who I already knew and really enjoy their videos. Samantha is also an author, a chiclet author and I've read um, her, she's in the middle of a series called The Six about six best friends and I've read the three books in that series that have been released so uh, check those out if you want like a fun easy summer read about girlfriends um, and Allie's just, her videos are so fun she has probably the biggest makeup collection and she's just so chill and down to earth so. and so the first prompt is your newest palette and I actually just placed an Ulta order and I think there's two palettes coming in I know um, with that order so technically I mean I don't have them yet so the newest one that I have right now which I've seen this one of these palettes in almost every person's video of this tag at some point and it's the elf um, bite-sized eyeshadow quads um, I have the one in rose water and it's just a very neutral rosy gold color story and these are awesome they're three dollars so I've been seeing them in a lot of people's videos as their most affordable palettes but I actually have one that's cheaper um, but these are three dollars they have tons of color stories i would recommend these if you're looking for something new and extremely affordable so my oldest palette is this alme intense eye color trio and this it's in different packaging now they still have these at least at my walmart and online um but this was the one for brown eyes it's just called, I think it's called Smoky Eye for Browns. And this is my favorite brown color in my entire collection of any brand of eyeshadows that I have. It is my favorite one shadow all over the eye look. There's a huge dip in it because when I was teaching, this was literally, if I even bothered with eyeshadow in the morning this was what I did and I love this kind of light lavender shade as well to put either in the center of my lid on top of this or all over the lid and then you kind of have this cream brow and inner corner color hello Wrigley um but this is my oldest and honestly if I run out of this I would repurchase it and I know in some people's videos they aren't counting like little trios and stuff as palettes but you can get a very nice full eyeshadow look out of this so I count them as palettes. My most expensive palette so I have two of them because they were the same price and they're from the same brand. But retail price, they are my most expensive. However, I did not pay full price for either of them. However, at retail price, these Huda Beauty palettes are $65 or $67 around there. The new Nudes palette, which has these gorgeous mauve colors in it. And then I have my favorite of the two which is the mercury retrograde palette which i have been so i wouldn't say 
Peace out, puppy. So I wouldn't say I've been wearing this a lot because I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. We're in quarantine. I have a compromised immune system with my cancer treatment. So even though things are opening up, my life is not any different. I am at home. I am quarantining. I am self-isolating. Anyway, when I have been wearing makeup, this is my go-to palette. Th these awesome like pastel bright spring colors but it also has your touches of neutrals in there i like these colors right here in this purple one to die for i know sometimes colors like these kind of freak people out they wouldn't know what to do pro tip go on pinterest and just type in the palette and you will get so many looks this palette one of my top in my collection and most affordable palette so and everybody is saying the three dollar elf eyeshadow quads because you can't even get like a drugstore palette of any other drugstore brand drugstore palette from a drugstore brand you can't get any palette from any other drugstore brand for less than three dollars however i found this palette at tj maxx and i've never heard of the brand it's called beauty concepts and this is their good vibes only eyeshadow palette and i think it's a brand it's not one of those brands where it's like leftovers or old products are sold at tj maxx or marshall's i forget which one but I think it's a brand that's like, they are just sold there. Um, and it's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It, so I should tell you the price, right? This was $2.99. So I know technically $3, also technically less than $3. So it is my most affordable. Um, but it is these gorgeous mauve shades and it, I thought for $2.99, like, okay, it might be a crappy palette, but I'm just going to try it out. I was wrong. These shadows are so creamy and so pigmented. The mattes, they have the perfect tones of mattes for my preference. They have a light matte, a medium matte, and then a deep matte. And then the rest are kind of shimmery metallic shades, which I find the mattes, they are a little powdery. So you just have to like tap your brush off. And then the shimmers work best with your fingers. But like I said, it is what I'm wearing. I, I would definitely try out other products from this brand that I saw now that I know how good of a quality this palette is. Again, it was $2.99. Holy cow, guys. Holy cow. And also about this palette, I feel like whatever look you choose to do, you just couldn't go wrong because these shades, they're different enough that you can create different looks, but they also go together well enough that anything you put on your eyes would look good. It's like everyday palette. So I didn't want to repeat palettes, even though technically my, my Alme palette um, Kind of is my everyday palette because like I said it was the one I reached for when I was teaching um just because I didn't have to think about what I wanted to do to my eyes it was just there for me whether I wanted to do the one shadow or I'm trying not to get in my ring light my one shadow or the three shadows however one other thing I did reach for when I was working if I wanted like a one shadow look or a two shadow look and it's not really a palette so that might be breaking the rules, but there are no rules in makeup. Um, are these um, nude sticks eyeshadow crayons? I have some that are like mini versions, and then I have some of the full size that came in um, sets, either holiday sets or collaboration sets. But they have matte, so this is like a deep brown chocolate matte which is great for either liner or putting it out in your outer corner they have these awesome metallics like look at that if you wanted like to highlight your inner corner or brow bone or all over the lid they have your in between shades like this kind of copper color 
oh my goodness so again they are so easy to create one shadow looks they do not budge after you put them in place i mean you have enough time to kind of draw them on um you just kind of take a stiff brush and blend it up into the crease and blend out the harsh lines but then they stay all day these are my everyday if i could put them somehow into a palette this would be my everyday palette just because they are neutral shades but they are gorgeous and so easy to work with so my smallest palette so this is another category where i saw a lot of people mentioning the elf palettes because these are super tiny however i have two different palettes that they're my smallest they are my smallest for different reasons so and one is drugstore and one's high-end so this is a l'oreal quad oh my gosh this is a l'oreal quad in perfume id and it is these gorgeous lilac and deep purple shades with a little bit of champagne in them I gravitate towards purple shades. One, purple's my favorite color. Two, they always say purple is good for brown eyes. And this is a purple that's like not too intense. And again, I know people don't like to count these little things as palettes. And I think they are gorgeous. So these three right here are from this palette. I think my lights are washing out the colors a little bit but this one is my smallest in like area i'm a math teacher so those are the f i'm dropping everything those are the first kind of words that come to mind but then this other one by smashbox is almost the same size but it's a lot thinner in volume <laughs> sorry math nerd um but it's the smashbox full exposure palette again it's like a little credit card and almost as thin as a credit card um but i am a major fan of cool toned eyeshadows i know that warm tones have been the trend for the last couple years but i've always been on the cool toned train and this is what's inside so you have kind of your champagnes your silvers in shimmers and then you have some neutral mattes down below so i thought this would be a great travel palette i love the color story with the deeper shades down here and over here i think you can get either a daytime look or deepen up um for evening looks more glam looks as well so these two would be my smallest my biggest palette so this one is biggest in area again this is biggest in area um and also has the biggest eyeshadow pan sizes and this is also a black owned brand so check them out it's one of my favorites it is the masquerade palette by juvia's place so again bigger than my face and it's a gorgeous palette look inside her packaging is by far, far the most gorgeous packaging of any brand period point blank stop <laughs> but you have your like jewel tones up top i just jabbed my finger in one and then kind of your brown neutrals down below and again these eyeshadow pans are super large but gorgeous palette love it recommend the brand recommend the palette and my palette with the best memory so this one was the first palette that came to mind when i saw this and it is my best memory for two different reasons and it is the urban decay vice 2 palette you can see my ring light in the reflection this is the urban decay vice 2 palette and it was their holiday release quite a few years ago um look inside it mix of colors your blues greens pinks purples gold but also you have your neutral browns and your champagnes and deep colors up here um the first reason it has the best memory is because this was my first high-end palette that i ever got i think i got it for christmas um 
And, and I remember walking into Sephora with my mom and picking it out and being like, oh my gosh, I need to treasure this. Um, a great memory because um, my birthday's in January. So the January after I got this for Christmas, I turned 21 and I did that basic thing where um, I went down to Nashville for my 21st birthday. Um, my birthday's always around Martin Luther King Day. So um, we had an extra day off for the holiday weekend and I went down to Nashville with some family and cousins and things and this was the palette I brought. I loved the looks that I came up with. I got so many compliments actually and that was one of the best birthdays of my life. Not be it worth the hype. So I'll be honest, I don't just like frivolously buy eyeshadow palettes. So I don't really have any and I went through everything. I don't really have anything that I wouldn't consider worth the hype or I have palettes that weren't really hyped up to begin with. Um, however, I have a couple brands that are, that are worth the hype. One of them, again, like I said before, is Juvia's Place. This is another palette I have by her. This is the Deuce palette. And these color stories, this color story may look intimidating, but they are unique and stories are so creative. And she puts together colors that you may not have ever thought would go together, but then you somehow put them on your eyes and it looks good. And the quality is great. The price is great. Brand that is worth it. I didn't know if I would mention because they kind of are the fast fashion brand of makeup where they just are constantly pushing and pushing out product after product after product. And it's a little much. It's it's a little much for consumerism, um, but it is ColourPop. The quality is there. The price point is extremely affordable. Is that they sometimes have collections that are only sold on their website or only sold at Ulta. And some products are sold on both. And I just wish everything was sold at Ulta, to be honest. Um, but this is the Give It To Me Straight palette. And again, it's kind of your neutrals, but it has some deeper colors as well. Um, you can't go wrong with a ColourPop palette as long as you pick a palette that has a color story you're interested in. Um, something you like, it's probably going to be good. <laughs> Not worth the hype. So like I said, I don't really think I have anything that's not worth the hype or it just wasn't hyped up. Um, two brands that are very much hyped up that I probably won't ever purchase from because of the price. And I don't think, to me, the price point will not ever justify that it's just an eyeshadow palette and that is the $129 palettes from Natasha Denona. No. And the like $52 quads from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm sure the shadows are wonderful, but at that price point, they should they should apply on your eyes by themselves. Um like I mentioned before, these elf quads quads are three dollars and they are wonderful and you get a charlotte tilbury quad for fifty two dollars i i don't know i'm sure they're great but that that will never be worth the hype to me i have zero interest in purchasing them those palettes other things from those brands definitely interest me but those palettes they don't even tempt me because it's like I have no interest in spending that kind of money on a couple eyeshadows. Wait for it. Oh my gosh, did I skip my most colorful palette? I skipped it. So I have two palettes again. I feel like I have two palettes for a lot of categories. But I have two palettes. I have the Flamingo palette by Violet Voss. This was limited edition again, um, but it is 
another one of my most favorite palettes in my collection. Look at these colors. They're kind of like your lighter, some of them are pastel, but these lighter, brighter, summery, beachy colors. I really like that there's a mix between matte colors and shimmer colors. You also have your light champagne colors and a matte black. Some palettes lack a matte black. Did I say that correctly? Black and matte black? Say that 12 times fast. But I love this palette. And then another palette that is much cheaper than that one is by Profusion and it is the Wanderlust palette. So these are kind of your deeper jewel tones. But again, very colorful, very good quality. I think it's around $10. If you want to experiment with colors and don't want to spend a lot of money, I would recommend brands like Profusion. Palette from a favorite brand. This was hard for me because I don't really have a favorite brand. I like discriminate. I like palettes from all brands. And so um, I will say though, going back to ColourPop, Probably their favorite palette that I have is the Through My Eyes palette that was in collaboration with I Love Sadie. And you can see why I like it. There's color, there's also neutrals, there's shimmers, there's mattes. It's a great quality, it's affordable. Bada bing, bada boom. Most used palette. So I don't think this palette is out there anymore, but it's another cool toned palette. It is by NYX. It's the Love in Paris palette. And I gotta say, whenever I need like a glam look, I actually, I walked in a fashion show for Cancer Survivors, La I think it, two summers ago, I think. And this was the palette I used to create the eye look. And I've never gotten so many compliments on my makeup ever. Um, your cool toned palette, you have your taupey champagne neutrals and kind of your deep browns and your grays. Shimmers and mattes. I, I mean, you have to like cool tones obviously to get enjoyment out of um, a palette like this. But it's just your soft cool tones where you can build them up to get really deep colors or you can keep them pretty neutral and light and it is one of my favorite palettes. I feel like I'm saying that for all of these. I only buy favorite palettes. <laughs> um, it's probably my most used and I am I intend to keep it that way. <laughs> did this video and she added a category of your favorite limited edition product which I know a lot of YouTubers do not use their limited edition products very much because if they recommend them and they're not sold anymore, the you know your viewers can't purchase them. There are two with you. One of them is by Anastasia and it is the Sultry palette. This was their holiday release. And again, kind of your neutral to cool tones, except as you take out this weird color. You know, you have your silvers, your neutral browns, and your kind of champagne golds, and your silvers, and obviously Anastasia is great quality. Her shimmers are beautiful. This silver called Cyborg, and kind of this bronze called Cinder, her shimmers I don't know if I like a shimmer formula better than hers. Look at these two right here. Sorry, my light's kind of washing it out, but imagine this on your eyes. Either of these. Ah! So that's what he talked about this one. People talk about Anastasia palettes all the time, but the Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow products. So they came out with a beached collection a few summers ago. And again, I'm not into warm tones, and I feel like everyone else is, and I don't know why this wasn't talked about because it is like 90% warm tones with these two pops of the most beautiful blue eyeshadows I have. Um, like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So, I mean, you can see why I like it. Your neutrals, your pop of blue, even the warm tones, this color called Heat Wave, even this is a beautiful 
my camera stopped recording and I don't know where, but I think I was talking about the Urban Decay Bleached Eyeshadow Palette showing you the color Heat Wave. I mean, it almost looks like the color of a penny. I feel like they should just bring this back every summer. And then a category I wanted to add was an eyeshadow palette that's on my wish list. And I feel like I'm the last person, at least on YouTube, uh, to not have this palette. And it is also by ColourPop, but it is the Going Coconuts 9 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. It is your bronzy neutral browns with awesome shimmers and mattes and I think it's $12. Anyway, those are my eyeshadow palettes. I showed you a lot and honestly, I don't have many other eyeshadow palettes than that. I have a few, but um, I hope you like this video and at this point, who knows when I'll be back for another, but thank you for watching. Bye guys.